Put-in Bay, Ohio. Put-in Bay is a village located on South Bay's Island in Put-in Bay Township, Ottawa County, Ohio, United States east of Toledo. The population was 138 at the 2010 census. The village is a popular summer resort and recreational destination. Ferry and airline services connect the community with Catawba Island, Kelly's Island, Port Clinton, and Sandusky, Ohio. The bay played a significant role in the War of 1812 as the location of the squadron of U.S. Naval Commander Oliver Hazard Perry, who sailed from the port on September 10, 1813, to engage a British squadron just north of the island in the Battle of Lake Erie. Put-in Bay is located northwest of Sandusky, at 41.653006, minus 82.817620. According to the United States Census Bureau, the village has a total area of, of which is land and is water. The name Put-in Bay originally only referred to the bay itself. In the later 1700s, the schooners sailing on Lake Erie would put into this bay, to wait out bad weather on Lake Erie. Many of the unfamiliar sailors used the slang phonetic term, Put-in, or Pudding, Bay resulting in later local historians' attempt to attribute various explanations for the term Pudding Bay, which, in reality, had no meaning, but was simply a slang phonetic variant of Pudding Bay. In 1820 and 1830, the island was under the jurisdiction of Huron County, Ohio, but later joined to Ottawa County, Ohio. Pudding Bay Township was finally established after 1830. The island was only very sparsely inhabited and there was no actual village prior to the creation of township. The first known Caucasian resident on the island was Alexander Yuan, who had about 1,000 hogs roaming the island in 1810. As of the census of 2010, there were 138 people, 70 households, and 43 families residing in the village. The population density was. There were 263 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the village was 100.0% white. There were 70 households of which 17.1% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 52.9% were married couples living together, 4.3% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.3% had a male householder with no wife present, and 38.6% were non-families. 32.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 10% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 1.94 and the average family size was 2.44. The median age in the village was 54.7 years. 15.2% of residents were under the age of 18, 2.2% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 15.1% were from 25 to 44. 38.4% were from 45 to 64, and 29% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the village was 52.9% male and 47.1% female. The village is home to Put-in Bay High School. Aside from South Base Island, Put-in Bay Local School District covers the Lake Erie Islands of Buckeye Island, Gibraltar Island, Green Island, Mouse Island, Rattlesnake Island, and Starve Island even though most of these islands are uninhabited. For most of its history, the island's primary industry has been tourism and continues to be today. The tourist season runs roughly between April and October. The most common methods of transportation to and from the island are via ferry boat, propeller-driven aircraft and private boat. One of the world's largest hotels, the Hotel Victory, opened its 625 rooms to the public in 1892. The four-story hotel featured a 1,000-seat dining room. However, on August 14, 1919, the giant hotel burned to the ground. Today only parts of the foundations can be seen at the state campground. Put-in Bay is the site of Perry's Victory an International Peace Memorial commemorating Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry September 10, 1813, naval victory over British ships in the War of 1812. Construction of the monument began in 1912 and it opened to the public on June 13, 1915. It is 352 feet, 107 meters, tall and made up of 78 layers of pink granite, topped with an 11-ton, 10-metric ton, bronzer and dot its height makes it the highest open-air observatory operated by the U.S. National Park Service. The remains of six naval officers, three British and three Americans, were interred beneath the floor of the monument's rotunda. Other historical sites include. There are under 150 full-time, South Base Island, residents, most of whom remain on the island over the winter. 
supplies and perishables are flown to the island during the winter months along with the mail, parcels and bank employees who staff the island's only bank, for one day a week, until the spring. The island has a single school that is used for grades kindergarten through 12 and serves the educational requirements of Middle Base and North Base Islands. These students arrive by plane, boat or ATV across the frozen lake depending on the season and weather. Put-in Bay has one grocery store, one hardware store, one school, which houses the one lending library branch, one gas station, a post office, one bank and two cemeteries. It has one seasonal franchise restaurant, Subway. There is no cinema. The island does not have a hospital, but does have an emergency medical service that can use a life flight helicopter to transport critically ill patients to mainland medical facilities. In 1952 to 1959, as well as 1963, the island held road races around a course. In 2011, the Put-in Bay Road Races reunion returned to the island. The temporary road course set up at the Put-in Bay Airport during the 2011 event was a key step in pointing the way to the return of real vintage sports kerosene to the island for 2012. The Boy Scouts of America hold an annual camporee at the base of Perry's Monument. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.